guys, this is Wargamer Living. Welcome to a fast as possible Minecraft. Today I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft onto an SSD as fast as possible. First and foremost, make sure you have an SSD installed on your computer, otherwise there's no point for you watching this video. You might as well be watching videos about cats and dogs, sniffing each other's asses, chasing each others up trees. Alright, so, once you got that done, go ahead and download Feed the Beast. Go to feed-the-beast.com, there's a link in the description below to where you can download the launcher. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and go to your computer, go to your SSD drive, and from here you can put it right in. Me, I went down to two more file sizes until I found a appropriate location. From here, you want to, once you're on your SSD, make sure you have the Feed the Beast launcher here on that SSD drive. Double click on that launcher. And voila, you got Minecraft installed onto an SSD as fast as possible with as little headaches as possible. It's just that awesome. Now, just to show you how, just to show you the proof that it's actually on the SSD, I'm going to launch it up for you real quick. I'm going to do a little bit of cutscenes as we wait for it to load a little bit because there's always a little bit of latency between servers and checking and make sure I'm actually 100% legal with Minecraft. Let me just go ahead and delete this. Create a new world. Creative. Amplified. Some characters at the end so I know that it's a temporary world. Click create. And there you go! You got Minecraft onto an SSD. As you can tell, look how fast that loads. Like, holy cow. It's like almost... Look how far away it's rendering from you. Now on your normal hard disk drives, it's normally like around that location right there where my cursor is pointing at. So yeah, SSDs, they're really, really useful, really, really powerful. And wow, I actually like this world. I might keep the seed. If you guys want the seed, can't have it, sorry, you gotta you gotta bug me in the comments below if you want it, and I might post it in the description. But that all depends on how popular this video becomes. So, actually, if you guys want the seed for this, and I got some client threads taking too long to render stuff. If you guys want the seed for this video, go ahead and like this video up to 1,000. If we can get 1,000 likes on this video, I will give you the world seed for this video. Because this right here just looks awesome. I mean, on an amplified world, you got a nice valley surrounded by hills, but this forest just looks awesome with the waterfall over there, the clouds, the overhangs. Just everything looks outstanding. Now, just to show you again, we're on SSD, F3A, boom, done. Like how fast it renders out. Even faster than when we first loaded the world, because it was actually writing the data to the world. So, again, Thumbs up this video if you liked it, thumbs down if you don't. Give me some good criticism in the comments below. And as always, subscribe for more videos from the Wargamer 11, and I'll see you guys next time.